My daughter's name is Aislin, she's 24. Just a brief thing before Thanksgiving, my daughter told me that her boss at work over in Arcata, California, which is right on the coast in the Redwoods, she called up and said, my boss has invited me to go to his dad's hunting lodge in Nebraska, and they're flying us out there, and he's a chef and he's gonna cook us dinner, so I won't be coming home for Thanksgiving. And I said, well, that sounds like a wonderful opportunity, honey, that'd be great. And Thanksgiving, she called up and said, oh, mom, I'm having the best time, we're having so much fun here, and tomorrow we're gonna go ATVing. And of course, I just, my heart sunk, and I just said, well, you know, you'll be fine, honey and uh, wear a helmet. And I thought, oh, thank goodness, she's calling me, they're done ATV in and everything's good. And it was her girlfriend on the phone saying, hi, Mrs. Anderson, this is Amy, and um, Aislinn's been in a little bit accident, she's gonna be okay. And of course, I dropped to my knees, told my husband, and we had worried about her all day long. So, um, they said that she had a lacerated liver and a lacerated kidney and they were gonna airlift her to Omaha because this was in Broken Bow, I guess. And um, I pretty much freaked out and spent the next 24 hours doing everything I could to get to her and I made it to Omaha within 24 hours of that phone call. And I was at her bedside ever since. One day, Ron was in the room with her and I went into the AICU waiting room and I brought my computer in there to read some of the letters and, and blessings people were sending me and there was a song that came on and I was watching the song and I started just, I just burst out in tears. So I was just, I just, you know, music just really brings emotion up. And uh, this janitor who I had seen every day in the hospital, almost every day. Every day he comes by and he cleans the room and he has this beautiful smile. And anyways, he happened to see me crying like that. And he comes over to me and he says, what is wrong? And I said, oh, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm just really worried about my daughter. And uh, he says to me, you must have courage. You must have courage and hope. Your daughter, I've seen her, she's going to be okay. And I looked at him and I, you know, I just saw this angel, you know, he was really one of the angels that I believe have been surrounding me on this whole journey. And um, he says, I am from Sudan. I am one of the lost boys and I lost my mother and father in Sudan in a fire. He says, and I've made it here and my life is good. You must have courage, you must have hope. And at that moment, I just realized, you know, because all my life, I've been saying the same thing about my grandmother who, who uh, survived the Turkish-Armenian massacre. She was a slave over Ar in Turkey for five years before she made it to America. And she always gave me my strength. And it was almost like a message from grandma. And uh, I told him that. I, said my, I told him about my grandmother. And I just knew that this is what I needed to hear at that moment. Because he just lifted me up. I mean, it was just like, his words just lifted me up from where I was to where I needed to be. And it gave me such strength. And uh, Vincent's a really cool guy. And uh, I sat down and I've been carrying this little poem with me everywhere I go about gratitude for how grateful I am to everyone. So I wrote it to him and I... Okay, it's called Gratitude. And it says, Gratitude unlocks the fullness in life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision to, for tomorrow. Anyways, I, I gave that to one of the nurses that took care of my daughter, and I gave it to the doctor, and I gave it to Vincent, and I've written it here on this book here for the Potter's House, because I really feel grateful to everyone here, everyone. <laughs>